very strange. I wouldn't understand how they work. I mean, I wouldn't trust a car that I didn't drove myself. Technology drives better than humans, I guess. So, uh, if we can land people on the moon, why shouldn't we have drive, be able to do drive with less cars? I think the future of cars is going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be varied. I think we're going to see an increase in, say, the, 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 the multitude of different options that consumers are going to have. Um, we've seen that recently with a huge explosion of niche pro products and that's partly coming through um, improvements in uh, production engineering in terms of the ability to make s smaller volumes of different mo models and still make, make money doing it. I think we're obviously going to see a big shift towards uh, alternative propulsion in terms of electric cars, hydrogen powered, powered cars. Um, as uh, pressure comes on, both in terms of uh, depleting uh, hydrocarbons, but also, more importantly, uh, pressures on uh, environmental uh, and, and air quality issues. And so we're going to see a shift towards uh, more autonomous uh, vehicles, uh, again, partly driven by le legislation to actually get uh, uh, accident rates down e even more. So you're going to have smart roads and smart cars and cars talking to one another. Today Ford is showing vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication technology. We have implemented two features to showcase today. The first one is the emergency vehicle warning. Everyone remembers a situation where we hear the siren of a vehicle, but we don't know exactly where the vehicle is coming from and what do I need to do. So the fire um, vehicle or ambulance sends out a wireless message that the Ford vehicle receives and then we can give information to the driver from what direction the vehicle is approaching. West Midlands Fire Service have a five minute attendance time to respond to emergency situations. With that five minutes, if it allows us to get through the traffic more quickly, it will ensure that we can get to the job more safely and it might mean that we can actually save lives. The other technology we're showing today is the intersection collision warning. The benefit of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication here is that we can warn about a vehicle that is still not visible yet for the driver, nor visible for a camera or radar system, because it might be obstructed by other traffic or construction at the intersection. So the driver will receive an early warning even uh, before he sees the vehicle and he can slow down and avoid a potential collision. So it's really an increase of the driver and overall traffic safety. In Barcelona we have the, the driver's seat and we have the car in uh, Tarragona. When the driver moves the steering wheel it is forward to the cart in 70 kilometers away and then coming back we have 4K uh, screens and also a lot of sensors that are inside the car and can transmit the driver's seat the experience of what is happening there. The moment the driver moves the steering wheel it's go forward and then backwards all with all the signals and all the image processing and so on happens in less than 30 milliseconds. So it's short and short the time that what the human eye can perceive. Zerolite is a visualization firm and we basically believe in creating amazing buying experiences for car brands. Publicly we work with Toyota, Audi and Pagani and we do have other brands. There's quite a few pressures going on within the automotive industry at the moment. The actual model within the automotive industry is quite traditional. You go in, you sit down, you speak to a, like a sales executive and they'll tell you what's available, what options are available and you have to piece it together in your head. What our technology allows you to do is actually see that in front of you as a customer. You go into the store, you're able to configure and explore your vehicle to your specification on your terms. It also gives a number of options for the brands to upsell. 
So by delivering their entire catalogue digitally, you're able to explore more of their range of vehicles and go through more of their kind of upgrades and optional extras for those vehicles. So we allow you to interact with that vehicle in a way you would never be able to do in real life. You can pull the vehicle apart if you want to. You can have a look at very minute aspects of the vehicle. We can segregate, say for example, the wheel. At his queue, he's able to pull that wheel out from the vehicle and have a look at every single individual aspect of it. Virtual reality, as part of the customer journey, gives customers a unique perspective onto what they're purchasing. So within the automotive industry, what we've done is our own research within five major kind of countries within the European market. Um, and what we've found is that just under 80%, around about 79%, say that they would feel a stronger connection with the brand when using immersive technologies. When you translate that to their perception of brand quality, a similar amount say that they would actually perceive the actual quality of the brand to be higher. It's a very unique customer journey with Bugani. So you actually purchase the vehicle and then you configure it. It's a handmade car built to order. So what we allow you to do is because every car is unique and highly bespoke, uh, we allow you to configure the vehicle and customize your car in front of you on a one-to-one -one scale prior to production and that runs a multitude of efficiencies with all of these brands in terms of the production process but also as I say differentiates the customer journey, it gives customers a far more experiential um, kind of purchase process as it were that they can remember and enjoy as part of purchasing that vehicle. So House of Hyundai um, is an event that's looking at the future of driving and the innovations that may occur around the five senses that will give us better drives in the future. Uh, so we have um, senses here, each of them with uh, an innovator, each of them with curated interesting boards and histories and insights and infographics and stuff, all looking at where we've come from in terms of that sense and where we might be going in the future. Uh, so, for example, we have uh, the Taste Zone upstairs, uh, where we look at how we've moved from kind of the dusty tin of travel suites in the glove compartment. We're a 3D customised candy service, um, and we turn your face into a 3D lollipop, as you do. Um, we kind of came up with the idea because uh, customisation is a whole new area that we're kind of getting into, and um, like all sweets and everything in the past are quite like um, using old technologies and we're kind of breaking new ground with um, making them completely personalised to you. Downstairs we have this um, amazing zone devoted to the sense of smell, looking at where we've come from in terms of the kind of the pine scented air freshener or the lemon scented air freshener that sits there with its cheap metallic chemical tang for a few months and then kind of dies out. And looking at where we might be going in terms of personalization um, of scents. Uh, so, you know, these, um, these new machines that will be talking with your wearables, working about your mood, working out whether you're stuck in a traffic jam or you're cruising down the highway, um, and then creating scents in real time to fit those moods. The main thing that we are doing is bringing tactility and technology together. And I think we should uh, understand that from, especially the interior of the car, um, a big part of that is uh, textile and uh, that's the part where we sit in, how we, um, how we move and uh, what can read a lot from the body. Um, so I think also, especially in the future where uh, mobility is going, um, it's going to be about the time that you spend in a car when it brings you from A to B. I think you're still going to see classic cars and people driving old cars and loving it and having their, their, their play, play things um, because people like the freedom uh, of having personal mo mobility um, and people will, will value that for years to come.